but we're going to, we're taking this communion on behalf this is symbolic I'm not saying it is it's just a, a move of faith for you and for me our picture and the reason why God shows us certain signs is because we are sensual people we relate to what we can see more <laughs> uh, you know and, and so it's not that there's power in the article the article of faith itself is not where power is the power is in us amen the oil was not where the miracle was it was from within her amen so this is an article of faith and we're gonna this 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 is a communion that's going to activate the oil that is already inside that will begin to flow out and this is what we're going to believe god by faith colossians chapter 2 verse 14 and 15 and i just want you we're going to deal with it later next week but we're going to stand upon this let's we we'll pray <coughs> This is, this is our, because this test, right, the, the Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 and 15, where is uh, Judah? Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 and 15. This scripture here is a picture of death's cancellation. That's what I want to show you. And I'm going to go into that detail later. Colossians chapter 2 verse 4 verse uh, 14 and 15 and this is what we're going to stand and to take our communion together and we'll be done for the morning thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit can you put it together 14, uh, 14 and 15 verse 14 and 15 together <laughs> Okay, okay, thank you. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinance that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he took it out of the way, nearly neat to the cross. Because every time you have, when the creditor comes, when you borrow from them, there's always a bill. There's a contract sign that gives them the power to torment you. And 15 say, having spoiled principalities and power, he made a show of them openly triumphing over them in the cross. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. Blotting out every bill. Every debt is cancelled on the cross. He came and blotted out and said, listen, if the creditor comes next time to ask about the same debt, show him this. He's been paid in full. When we do this, Jesus said, do this always in remembrance of me. This is not just ceremony, right? It was ordained by him, right? He was crucified before the foundation of the world. I can't have to tell you that. The night before he was betrayed. So this has nothing to do with the Roman soldier. It was in the heart of God, even before the world was formed. Before the creditor could come up, Jesus, God has already provided a solution. The debt was even paid. <laughs> even before we borrowed. That's why the Bible says, God imputed it unto Abraham for righteousness. Right? It was based on before the foundation of the world. To impute is again an accounting term. God gave righteousness to Abraham on credit. They say, in case the enemy comes tormenting you and say, why are you doing this? Show him have been settled communion is a picture of letting the enemy know is what is settled he's been paid in full do this in remembrance of me let the enemy know I paid shall we stand up again as we take this communion together on behalf of our children we are tormenting the enemy. The tormentor of our children need to be tormented. Let the voice of the blood of Christ that speaks better things than the blood of Abel begin to speak their deliverance. The debt that they owe has been paid in full. Lord, this is your body broken for us. May every child under this grace Connected to this altar, wherever they are, may the power and the chain of the creditor over their lives through 
any form of illegal and illicit behavior be broken permanently today in the name of Jesus. Take the body of Christ broken for the deliverance of your children and your life in Jesus name. In the same way Lord the blood that you shed speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We overcome the creditor by your blood and by the words of our testimony. Yes. Testifying to the creditor this morning that whoever the son sets free is free indeed. We testify to the creditor this morning that the Lord said I should train up my children in the way that they should go. And when they grow up, they will not depart from it. That the seed of grace and righteousness that was sown into those children, may the anointing that is resident in this grandmother, grandfather, father, mother, sister, and auntie today, begin to activate that seed unto righteousness and repentance to our children. May the blood of Jesus resist and oppose every life of the creditor over our children, and grandchildren and even ourselves from today in the name of Jesus. Take the blood of Jesus shed for you and your generation. Father, we give you praise. Father, we exalt your name. Father, we glorify your name. We thank you for today and we bless you for being so kind and gracious to us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, thank you. Sit down briefly and we'll be done.